I'm Joel Norton, and this is Charles Beeson. And today yeah. we're checking out a Patreon pick for all this and more by the Dead Boys off their album, Young, Loud, and Snotty. Oh, that explains why they're Dead Boys. What? Because they were Young, Loud, and Snotty, and somebody got sick of it. Somebody got sick of it. Okay. From 1977. Especially in that era. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Dead Boys. It's an interesting name. It is an interesting name. I have not heard anything by these guys. What uh, what genre are you guys in here? Uh, punk. Yeah, most likely. Most I'm likely. thinking punk. I'm thinking you're right. Well, there's no time like the present, bud. Let's find out. Let's ship it. here are a little uh not a fan of i think is the easiest way to just put it out there creepy a little bit as fuck <laughs> a little bit <laughs> and and i don't care which way you want to take it, it it's a, it's a little creepy yeah <laughs> yes expect the end there uh you got a little girl eye and it's unzipped my fly you feel so dead tonight huh <sighs> So lyrically, this is a hard miss for me. Um, I, and I didn't like the vocals during the um, beginning of the chorus parts. With really? the, uh, all this and more, little girl, how about on the floor, little girl, no time to implore, implore you, girl. Wasn't a fan of those, the vocals in those moments. Okay. Vocally, didn't love it, didn't hate it. No. Um, instrumentally, I was impressed. I did Highly. Like the, I did like the instrumental Highly. for this, for sure. Um, instrumental was really nice um like you said i think the vocals throughout the rest of the song were very they, they were okay yeah like they didn't hurt nothing they didn't really boost anything though either it was just during that 
the beginning of the chorus part that I was not a fan of the vocals there. Yeah. And lyrically, um, I think any time in a rock song or whatever music, when they're like something little girl and then sexual together, immediately it's like, no, I, I, I'm not a, not a fan. It's, it's just too weird. weird. Yeah, it's just too weird. But yeah, I, I could totally agree with you there. I don't know. Yeah, it, it just it's it's very odd. And then especially there was parts in here that were rather. Um, where is it at? Talking about the. Oh, yeah, you got dents in your head that tell me all the beds you've been shoved on a teenage feeling rocking and real. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm, I'm good on that. You missed me. All right, so, Joel. But it, it, it seems to be like an older rock music thing. Too. Oh, yeah. Some of the creepy stuff's definitely older rock. Yeah, too. yeah. Um, and it's something that never bothered me as a kid. But as I got older, I was like, why in the fuck? <laughs> why is this like yeah, this? Yeah, well, why did you word it like this, guy? What do you mean you'll be watching me? <laughs> <laughs> do you just reference Sting? <laughs> Is that what you just reference? <laughs> well, uh, wow. All right. <laughs> what do you think of rate plays there, bud? Uh, this one is going to be a four out of ten for me. Not okay. a fan. Um, and it's not going to playlist. Yeah. Um, the instrumental really, really saved this for me. I'm going with a flat five, and I'm not adding it to a playlist. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, guys, uh, we're two boys, and we've got one brain cell. I'm Joel Norton. That's Charles Beeson. And you can drop down in the comments on who gets that brain cell. Yeah, you can. Like, maybe this person that can pronounce my name. It's not my name. So. Uh, you know me for how many years? <laughs> Apparently not long enough. Till next time, guys. Peace out. Peace.